In this week's video update, it's time to close up the vinyl. So if you remember, we've been working towards getting this vinyl closed up by completing out all the little repairs that need to be done first. Replacing all the rotted plywood in the overhead areas, all that sort of thing, new teak, all that stuff's been replaced. Now it's time to close it up and take a look at what it looks like with the vinyl closed up. We haven't seen it like this in a long time. It's a big relief to be able to see it closed up and know the vinyl stretched back into position. Baby gives me a big hand in getting this job done. And then it's time to move on, taking apart the teak trim, removing that white piece of plastic back by the companionway, and finding out what's underneath there that's going to be a big surprise. Anywhere we see that white plastic, we know there's going to be a problem. Also, Baby steps in and gives a hand getting out some of those teak plugs and removing the hard-to-get-out fasteners that are holding that teak trim in place. Once we get that out, we can see the full scope of what happened behind that white plastic. We want to see what's going on in there, what they were covering up, and what we need to do to fix it to make it right. So if you like this sort of thing, this is a video for you. We hope you like it, and please be sure to watch it all the way through. Give us a like, a subscribe, and comment down below. Thanks for watching. Welcome back to another exciting and thrill-filled adventure with DIY Nautical Dream. Okay, maybe that was a little over the top. Anyways, we'll go ahead and get our next video started. Hi guys, welcome back. If you are not subscribed yet, please subscribe down below. And please watch our video from the very beginning up until the end. We really need to watch ours. Perfect. All right, action, take 20. <laughs> In case you missed it in last week's video update, we're really going for that finished look. We're really trying to wrap up this whole area, the main salon and the nav station area, trying to tie all those nice little details together. And you can see here, it's really starting to pay off. These lighting details that we're doing with the back glow, ambient lighting, and the new glow bases that we've installed, really gives it that nice warm ambiance at nighttime. And even in the daytime, it makes a huge difference. Having the little back glow strips behind the trim, that's another extra that we've done. All these little things just tie it all together and give it that nice nautical fuel when we're inside the boat. If you like this sort of thing, come on inside and see how we get it done. Thanks for watching. That for sure right here is the look we are looking for. Wow, man, what a difference that makes. So let's check it out. We'll go to night mode. And go into the night glow mode. So there we go. Look at that. Wow. Totally cool. That is awesome. And of course, we're going to do the same up above here. We just don't have it installed yet, but we will get there. Hi guys. Hi guys, welcome, welcome back. back. I'm Priscilla and I'm Rich. Together, Together we make DIY Nautical, Nautical Dream. Dream. All right, so what's going on, honey? Oh, this week we're going to be working on closing up the vinyl and trying to get that to stretch back into place. 
As we uh, remember from past experience working over in the galley, the vinyl doesn't always work with us. It's going to require lots more heat gun action, a lot of stapling. Yeah, it's going to be lots of fun and a lot of struggling up ahead for us on that one. So hopefully that all goes well and we can get that vinyl to stretch back into place. And that'll be a really nice thing. Visually, it's a big deal because we'll see things coming together and closing up that area, which has been open for quite a long time now. So it'll be just nice to get that wrapped up. That's not the end of things, is it? There's still a lot. Yeah, we still have a lot more to go after that. So uh, it'll be just nice to move on from that. And hopefully uh, we have a lot of fun along the way. I'm sure there's going to be some uh, overcooked fingers in that process. But that's okay. We'll get through it. Beautiful progress is being made slowly. Yep, a little bit at a time. It takes a long time to get all these details out of the way. Getting that piece of large teak trim back installed was a really big visual win, kind of a gain for us. Uh, it'll have to come back off at some point so we can strip it and varnish it, but it just looks really nice to see this area of the boat coming back together again. On the downside, once we get the vinyl closed, it's not going to stay closed for very long. We'll have to open up the next seam over and get ready to start removing that large piece of plywood for the overhead hatch. We know based on past experience, when we're doing it on this side, that plywood's more than likely going to be rotted. So we'll have to get that out. In order to get that out, we have to open up the middle seam on the vinyl. Uh, we know there's a piece of white plastic back there near the uh, companionway stairs. And we know that past experience, anytime we see that white plastic in the boat, that means there's problems, there's something hidden, and we're going to have to figure that out. And hopefully everything turns out good and we can get this vinyl stretch back into place. All right. So stay tuned guys, we're going to show you or update this week's project. Yep, we're going to get at it and we'll see how it turns out. Looks like you got some tools in your hands, baby. What do you got planned for today? Ready to start our project, honey. So you got a, <laughs> a staple gun and a screw gun. Yep. Okay, we're going to get at it. Get some work done here. Yep, stay tuned. Whoa, <laughs> seems like you're not messing around, huh? Nope. Are you going to be doing a bunch of screwing around with that oh, there yeah. tool in your hand? Still screwing around. <laughs> <laughs> so what do we got going on here today, baby? Well, we're just going to give them an update of the work I've done. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and your project's coming along pretty good. You're definitely uh, you're definitely doing a good job there. Right. It seems like you're uh, pretty happy with the tool in your hand, aren't you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yep. there you go. It's very handy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Looks good, baby. Yeah. So. But um, anyways... Good job, honey. You did a really good job. <laughs> <laughs> we did a good job. Yeah. You help out lots, and not all. Oftentimes, are you on the camera? But you're yeah. you're helping out. But so remember, back then this was so rotted. Oh yeah. It was messy and everything. Yeah, big rotted mess. <laughs> yeah, but look at that, man. It's so nice. Oh yeah, it's, it's coming, coming along. Coming along. And so it's, different. It's starting to look like a thing of beauty. Oh yeah, just like you, baby. <laughs> You're right. Yep. No. <laughs> hey, whoa. So hold on. <laughs> Anyways, and then we want to show them the the lights that you installed also. Oh yeah, we had lots of lighting going on. We got to put and the stuff. clips in yep. and all that. We ran out of clips last time when we were here, but we have clips now. So we will take care of the clips on the underglow lighting. And maybe if we're lucky and we have time, we may even do the top level backlighting on there too as well so yeah and yeah. then if we have more time we're gonna put back the vinyl the vinyl is high priority we will get that vinyl for sure so that is something we are going to be working on today yep and i have you as my lovely assistant and i think you have oh i'm ready for some stippling action <laughs> Ta oh yeah there we go okay so we got that and then hang on <laughs> This one right here, hair oh, yeah. dryer. Yeah. The heat gun. <laughs> no, I know. We're, we're gonna be burning some hands today, huh? Yep. Oh man. man. It's my favorite thing to do. Yep. Looking forward to that action, aren't oh, you? Yeah. So we're gonna, our plan is to have the vinyl closed all the way across here by the end of our stay at the boat this weekend. So that's where we hope to get. Yeah. All right, hopefully. so wish us luck on that one. If we get the vinyl all closed in, that'll be great. Okay, so what you get going on, honey? Well, I'm gonna do something I'm really good at. I don't do it very often, but I'm gonna do something I'm really good at. And I think I'm gonna procrastinate. I'm just gonna think about this for a little while and try to put it off and maybe do it next time. 
Think that'll work out? Yeah, it's it's familiar. <laughs> All right, so what we got going on here, we don't want to spend too much time procrastinating, but what we have going on here today is we're going to start doing the vinyl. You know, everybody's favorite pastime sport. Let's heat up the vinyl and try and get it back in place where it's been out of place for so long. Who knows how it will work, but... Man, it sure is nice to be able to not see those speaker wires, huh? Remember they had them stapled alongside here before? Now we have them concealed, so that's a good thing. We'll go ahead and take this down. Yeah, vinyl's looking kind of rough, man. I don't know. Let's see, we'll worry about that spot. We're gonna, we're just gonna pretend we didn't see any of that over there. We're not gonna even, Nope, didn't happen, didn't see it. All right, so here we go. We're gonna go ahead, go ahead and uh, see how this works out. Man, I can't remember how to use this. No, not like that. Um, figure this out here. This has been a while, huh? All right, so first thing we need to do is pull these staples. There's a lot of staples in here, so um, we're gonna work on that first. We'll come back to stapling the vinyl once we get the staples out. Just trying to get a really nice tight pull. We'll stretch it and probably be stapling a little bit farther past the original line, if we're lucky. And that way we'll have a nice snug, tight pull on this vinyl as we go down. And then any excess we have, we will trim that off because that's a bitter end right there. It's very crusty and chunky and will not compress well. So we will cut that as we go down. We'll cut the old stuff off the old edge. It's just too brittle. Anyway, so we have a little bit started here. We have right here and we have up to right here. So then we'll just keep going and eventually we'll get to a spot where both of us can work and we'll be able to work a little bit faster. But for right now, we just have to do it this way for right now until we get a little bit of room. It really helps to have good firm pressure pushing up so that the, the face of this is tight against the vinyl and the wood behind it. So we get a nice drive when we hit the, squeeze the trigger here. But it's really hard to be holding the vinyl this direction and upward and try to squeeze this trigger all at the same time. It takes a lot of, a lot of coordination. So we will get there. So you could hear that sound. That sounds like we're out of staples. Okay. Making a little bit of progress here. Sure has been a while since we've done that. All right, so we're happy with the little bit of progress we've made. We're gonna continue moving. We wanna to get to like this line here and then we gotta stop and pull some more staples. All right, so that's kind of what it's gonna look like. We are just gonna keep making some progress and baby's pulling out some of the staples that we missed on the previous attempt. Hard to tell on this because it's such it's not attached here. We'll end up having to pull it. Yeah. We'll end so. up having to stretch it back when we get the frame. Mm -hmm. But that was just too rotted to even try to hold it to right now. So. Alright, we'll go ahead and Alright, so let's see. Some summary of where we're at here. So 
so. Okay, made a little bit of progress. And we still got that much more to go. All right, let's take a break for a little bit and really figure out what we're gonna do next. So we've made it from through there. All the way to here. Now, the tricky part is going to be getting it tucked back up underneath this little, this is like a little bulb seal here, a little vinyl bulb seal. We have to get this tuck back up underneath there so it's gonna be a little tricky we will struggle with that one but we'll get it all right so we're at that lovely stage of project creep so what our problem is is I can get the vinyl tucked in up there but this little vinyl bulb seal is rolling up underneath and I don't have any way of pulling it back out and it doesn't look good it's one of those dumb things that visually would bother us otherwise nobody would probably notice it but Anyways, so we're going to fix it. We're going in the process right now of getting ready to pull this off. And then we're going to undo a couple of rows of fasteners here. Hopefully maybe not any farther back than that. And we'll try and flex this trim out a little bit to get the bulb seal to do what it needs to do. If not, then we'll take the whole piece off. We're going to try to avoid that. So, All right, we need to get these little teak plugs out of there. I've already pre-drilled some holes. They come out really nice, very easy. Yeah, we're opening up a big can of worms now. It's not something I really wanted to do, but that's where we're at. Still struggling, but we'll get there. Hopefully this will be the last one we have to pull. All right, sometimes the plug is in there very shallow, I've been noticing, so we use a bigger diameter screw. what it did just need a little bit fatter screw in there we'll show you what we got here so pull those two those two those ones and right here so now we'll pull the screws out try to pop this one out first if we can get this one out that should re relieve a little bit of pressure on that and hopefully it'll come out we'll see what happens that was gonna be Man, that's a long screw. Sometimes they get a little bit of uh, junk in the head of the screw here. Like epoxy or some kind of wood. Train. Doesn't want to let this... Uh, here we go. Crazy how long that screw is. Even longer one there. Wow. So crazy. It's totally non-structural too. I'm gonna have to tap tap on that. Get the hammer. I'm not really expecting this to come out, but we're gonna give it a try. Looks like there's another screw in there, but I don't see a, I don't see a spot for it. So, okay, seems like we got a little, little activity going on back there. There we go. I guess if we ever wanted to know the condition of our bulkhead, that's it right there. Pretty good still. All right, I'm gonna get caught up in that. And then this is just plywood for the for the veneer there. Okay, so let's get those out. Okay. 
Let's see if we get any kind of luck. Oh yeah. Okay. So that's about the best of the worst case scenario right there. We'll have to work with that and try to see if we can get this to move around a little bit. And then maybe tuck that up underneath there. We didn't get the kind of flex we were hoping for, so we're gonna pull these two right here. Dang it! I don't see what the problem is here. We'll replace those with new. They weren't in that good of shape. Could have been us, could have been already that way. We definitely have some flexibility now. What we want to do is we're going to get the vinyl tucked in there. We'll get the vinyl tucked in there and roll out the bulb seal, put everything back together, it'll look fine. We're gonna do that off camera. It's gonna be a struggle. We'll show you when we're done. All right, so we have a little bit of progress here. We were able to get it tucked in after removing all the screws holding this on, well, all six of them there, and taking that piece of trim out of there. We were able to get it rolled back out the way it should be. And we were able to get that nasty sticky goo off the vinyl using this stuff here so that was cool worked out really good hopefully hopefully the vinyl doesn't uh crack and get brittle in that area and we also did the same thing right here there was a big patch of tape residue left over from the duct tape so and it cleaned it off really well so all right so when we're we are just about done over here now. We have it all stapled into place. And we'll put this piece of trim back on and put those screws back in. And, and then we'll have to trim off all the excess vinyl. But that's fine, that's not a big deal, we'll get that. Let's see from a distance what it looks like. All right, looking pretty good. Hasn't looked like this in a while. All right, so now we will just put the screws back in that we took out. Now we're not gonna replace these bungs right here. We're gonna leave those out for now because there is a strong possibility we have to pull this trim down because at some point we have to do we have to do wiring up in here and we may have to replace some rotted plywood. We don't know yet, but we have suspicion that there may be some leaks up there that we are gonna have to deal with, so. But for right now, this area turned out pretty good. Um, we're not real happy we had to go that far into it, but either way, it worked out in the end, so that's what matters. I just didn't wanna leave it all not looking good. And it gave us a chance to look at the bulkhead and it looks pretty good, so. We have our holes lined up and everything. We feel like we're on top of the world now. We got it. Yay, we got it. See, that wasn't that hard. All of that just to get this little vinyl bulb seal out here. So that's what we had to do. But it's in. And like I was saying, I think we're going to end up having to pull this off at some point anyways, just to get up in there. So we will take our time. We won't get in a hurry about putting these plugs back in yet. All right, next up, we're going to try this neat little tool here and see if we can cut that excess vinyl off. Maybe not. Cut fiberglass very really well. So 
also make sure we don't have a bunch of extra vinyl pushing out because then that will just cause problems when we go to put the trim up here. We'll definitely have to trim that down a little bit right there. This vinyl here. All right, baby, how'd that go? Did we struggle a little bit on that one or what? Yeah. Man. A lot. You did. Uh, yeah. You helped with the heat gun up in the areas where we needed it. Um, Your hand. We didn't need it as much as we did on the other side. This vinyl has a lot more stretch left in it than mm -hmm. the other side, especially over by where the galley was. But what we're doing now is we're just trying to get this this trim up here fitted into place. And baby, what do you think about the Velcro? Do you like that, how it's stapled on there? No, I think we need to take that out. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Hey, yeah. let's do that to our boat. Man, that yeah. looks really nice, huh? So yeah, we'll take that off. We're just doing a, we're just really just doing a test fit right now. Just making sure how it all lines up and and uh, we trim some of the vinyl away from behind this just so it'll fit better and we might have to trim a little bit more off the back side we'll take this down we're going to sand it revarnish it and uh, we just really wanted to see how it looks with it on there we haven't had this vinyl closed in here in a long time so it looks pretty good you know it's going to go right back to bad here real quick because we're going to open up this seam and, and that seam there and then we're going to take this rotted oh, frame out of there mm -hmm. man i hope that comes out in at least enough of a form we can make a template out of yeah. it right so one piece yeah we'll see that's pretty Solid. that's pretty sketchy right there yeah the only thing holding that together is really the tape we put on it but destruction construction right yeah, yeah. it's got to get bad before it gets better so What's going on back up in there? It's kind of nasty looking. All right, well, you can rest assured this is not going to be getting reinstalled. We will do whatever we can to avoid putting that back up in there. That is weird. They actually cut into the honeycomb. Huh. I don't know why they did that, but we'll have to see what's going on with that when we get into it farther. Okay, so you see how they cut into the honeycomb here? They did that to provide clearance on the backside for the switch and the light housing here. See? For the profile there. They did that that's their thought process right there that is that is completely wrong and the owner of the boat should have demanded his money back and damages that's crazy wow. so if we've ever learned anything about this boat project so far anywhere we see this plastic junk we know that's a band-aid because we saw over there We've seen in other parts on the boat, and we know that wherever we see this, something's wrong behind there. So, are we going to be right and consistent and find it again? Let's find out. We will all see at the same time. Whatever we do, it's got to be better than this when we come back, to, when we put it back. Yeah, this just tells me something's wrong. What if there's nothing wrong behind here and then I got to put it back and I broke those little plastic covers. All right, let's see what it is. crazy well maybe maybe it was already changed once well there used to be vinyl here because see it's cut away yeah it was probably um rotted and then they replace it 
Yeah, I don't know. That's weird. Because you thought... can still see the. It's gonna like wet or something. Dude, look at that. This bolt's even missing. See that? That's from. Those are those really long ones we had to replace on the other side where, uh, you know, we were trying to lift them out and they were held yeah, in with yeah, the 5200. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's good because that means it's one down. We don't have. <laughs> one two. less bolt. Yeah, unless it's very short. Oh, well, if it's short, it's not got any. Doesn't have a nut on it, so. Yeah, this part right here is probably so rotted, and then they change it. Maybe we can hope, right? Yeah. Well, whatever, because you can see they cut the vinyl out. Yeah. That used to be here. So something. So that means you can take this out, huh? I'll figure it out. It's n if it's not all the way. Well, I'll have to take this piece of trim off of here. And then we'll see what's back there. There's probably a seam or something. But um, it looks to me like they didn't take this trim off. Whatever they did, I don't know. I don't know what they did, but they did something weird. All right, well, it's not what I thought it was. I thought for sure it was going to be rotted. So, But there's something going on here. I don't know. There's no way they would have done that for nothing. All right, baby, what do you have going on today? Oh, I'm assigned to take this frame off trim yep uh -huh. trim and so what i'm gonna do first is put the note make sure when we put it it's in the right position uh-huh is that how you want it and then arrow right there so we have up and inboard okay yep. so now it's time to do something fun yeah it's time to use my favorite tools. Oh. Right? Sure. Like this. Hang on. Let's see what you got going on here. All the way. Just in. All right, you're in. Pull it out. Okay. Same thing. Whoa, dude. Okay. Too much. See, yeah, I get kinda, so excited each time. You're kind of aggressive. Just slow. Whoa, all right, okay. Okay. And here, I'll get that one over there for you because it's... This kind is of hectic. A, this is the kind of stretch <laughs> she's got going on there. So, Just to take this out. Yep. We uh, took our ladder home, so... We got like 20 at home, but we don't have any here at the boat. Right, all right, stand by. We'll get the, we'll get the right tool for the job here. All right, so now you're going to use the... Uh, screw and the screw gun and it's time to take this up and we have to go slow and in control is it going up there you go one more there you go one more okay you got it go ahead yeah. and pull your screw down okay okay and how was that nice and clean yep all right good job same thing on the next one There you go. One more. Oh man. Is it coming up? Yep. Gotta go a little bit more. There you go. Yep. See, just gonna stay with it. It's always nice to have baby helping out on projects <laughs> here. Dang. Yeah, there you go. Keep doing it. Okay, hang on. It's not going up. You might need a little Push. pressure. Okay. There you go. Oh, man. How's it going so far? It's good. It's okay. just trying to reach the top one. All right, okay. let's see what we have here. It's not going out all the oh, way. Oh, sometimes they don't come out all the way, but we'll get it with the pick set. All right, now you got the pick set, so you should be able to get it out with that. Yep, now it's nice and clean. All right, good job, baby. Now, the next thing to do is get the screws out. Yep. Try one that's uh, easy for you to reach. All right. Whoa. 
Okay. And I'll get the last one. Well, so they weren't really consistent on the size screws they used either. Which, were they all the same length? Here we go. Alright, so now... Let's see if you can pull that off. I don't think you'll be able to, but... No. No. Alright, so we'll get the... Uh, Letter tools. We'll get the... Hummers. And we're gonna do top top. Just tap it on the bottom. Okay. Okay. What else we can do? There's little cracks now, but I got. Hang on. I see the problem here. There's yep. a screw here. Yep. And there's one here. All right. Let's get those out, and then we'll come back. Yeah. Right here. Yep. There's a bung right there. Mm-hmm. And one there. Okay. We'll come back to that. I had to get the rest of the pick set. Okay. Dang, that's a long one. Yep. That is a very long one. talking about last night see the vinyl yeah they could have just cut it. they could have just popped that off on on the staples here and did whatever repair they were trying to do up in this area yeah instead of cutting that cutting section the, of the vinyl out and put that right, junky plastic. plastic on there so that's crazy yeah and then still up here i went up on the top side and looked and yeah. they have the wrong fastener in there yep. it's not even long enough to come all the way through they just shoved it down in there to cover the hole they went through all this trouble and then they still didn't do the job right but okay. whatever that's where we're at for now. All right, baby, thanks for your help. We really appreciate it. And uh, now you got a little bit more experience on pulling out the teak plugs. Ben. Yeah, and drilling them out. <laughs> good job. You good job. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch our videos. We really appreciate it. So we're back, guys. That yep. was not fun, huh? <laughs> no, we got it done. Struggling? Yeah, lots of struggling, lots of heating up of the hands, and uh, sometimes I wonder if she has a little more fun with the heat gun than it needs to be to get the job done.
but we got it done. Surprisingly, that vinyl stretched into place really good. It was actually a little bit easier on this side than when we were doing the side over here. So that's a good thing. It looks okay, so I think we're good. It cleaned up well, and I think we're good with it. But yeah, it's only going to stay stapled shut for a little while, and then we'll have to open up the next seam. We had a few challenges along the way. We found underneath that white plastic that we were correct. There was some... Uh, surprises. Some surprises under there from previous owner or somebody did some kind of a repair in there, and, um, you know, they cut that vinyl short. So now I don't know how we're going to fix that. We're going to have to either make something out of teak to make it look like it was in, intentionally done that way. Or put the plastic back. Or we have to put the plastic back, and we're not going to do that. So we'll figure something out. One of the challenges we ran into trying to get the vinyl closed up in the forward section, they have that little white vinyl bulb seal, and we couldn't get the vinyl tucked underneath that. So we had to drill out the bungs on the uh, large overhead teak trim. Really unfortunate that we had to get into that, but... You know, I think I think it's a blessing in disguise because we're going to have to open up that eventually. We know we got some challenges going around the mast cut out in the overhead area. We know that we're probably going to have to open up the vinyl in that area and that trim's going to have to come off anyway. So either way, it would have had to have happened at some point down the road. All in all, things are coming together pretty nice. It's beautiful. Yep. Not bad. <laughs> but as you know, we have to open it back up in order to get that. Because we like doing it. Yeah, we like doing it. All right, so thanks for watching, guys. If you are not subscribed yet, please subscribe down below. Ding! Down here somewhere. Cling, 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 cling. And please watch our video from the very beginning up until the end. Replay over and over again. <laughs> you don't need to watch it. Yeah. Just replay yeah. it. You don't have to like it, just watch it. <laughs> but anyways, we're just thankful for everybody that's watching and viewing and subscribing and two of the Davids that are supporting our channel financially. We say thank you to you for your support. And if you guys want to be a Patreon member, we'd be more than grateful for your support. And the link to our Patreon account is in the notes up above. We're just thankful for anybody's support that they want to give to this channel. The project could use this to help. All right, so thanks for watching, guys. See you to our next video. See ya. Bye. Bye. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. See you. Oh. And action. Live on the set. Take two. So what do you got going on this week, baby? High pressure project. Oh, Hang on. we have a... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Dang, if I only hit record, man. I think you did. Okay. <laughs>